Hi everyone. Today we are going to see PyTest dependency testing. If you think about the PyTest framework, it executes the test cases based on the naming convention. Basically, it collects all the tests and it will execute one by one. But in general, there are some scenarios where you will be executing some test cases based on the previous test cases. However, we have the fixtures where we will set up some pre-set up activities or the teardown methods inside the, let's say the conference.py by using the fixtures. But there are some scenarios where you will have the dependency between the test itself. So those scenario you will be using the dependency testing. In general, you don't have the dependency by default. So you will be installing the plugins pytest iPhone depends. So this is one of the plugin available for the pytest. Once you install by using the normal command pip install pytest depends, you can use some different annotations or the decorators inside the pytest cases. Here we will see the very simple code snippet for the pytest depends. So here you can see at pytest mark depends. So in order to use this decorator, you need to install the pytest depends plugin. Here you can see the different uh, varieties of the depends. For example, here it has the name. Some instances you may be having the different test case name or it will be a lengthy test case name. In those scenarios, you can directly mention the name for the test case for only the dependency. For example, if I were, if I make this test prayer one method as the dependency for something else, but at the same time, I don't want to mention the test case name as test prayer one. That time I can use the name is equal to first so that I can mention the depends on this test case rather than mentioning the test prayer. I can mention the first the same way on. So on in the sense here, you will be using on based on the which test case. For example, the test prayer three has a dependency on the test prayer two. That means that the test prayer three will execute only after the test prayer two. In some other scenario, rather than mentioning one test case, you can mention multiple test cases as the format of list. That means that for example, here in line number 28, you can mention two test cases for the test case test underscore prayer five. So that means that this test case will execute only if both test cases independent and first should be passed. So by seeing this test case at different terminologies, you may not be knowing in which order it will be executing. So for that, you can use the collect only, uh, let's say the command line argument or otherwise you can see in general, if it is a very simple, let's say the file, you can check it. For example, the test case, which does not have any dependency will be like independent. So independent, for example, here you can see independent. It has only the name. It does not depends on anything. So that means that it can be the first one. And after executing, you can see here we have the two dependency independent has already executed. So we have the name. So that means that here first is there. So based on the first, you can execute independent and first both. Then after we can execute the test prayer five, which is nothing but prayer test five. The same way it will be executing other test cases. But in simple, if you want to see which order it has executed without executing, actually you can use the collect only. apply or OK and then run it. Here you can see the first one is test prayer four. Four in the sense it will be nothing but your independent. And after that first, the first will be test prayer one. And then after basically these two test cases has been executed so that you can use the test prayer five. You can see the same execution. And then after test prayer two. So test prayer to has been executed. Why? Because it depends on the next one. Test prayer three. So here you can see it depends on the test prayer two. So even if it comes here, it will look for the dependency so that it will go to the test prayer two. It will execute the test prayer two. Then it will come for the test prayer three. So this order it will be executed. But if you really want to execute directly without collecting or without only collecting, you can remove this and you can just OK and run it. Here you can see the past test cases. But what if any one of the dependency fails? 
for example let's make first fail since the first will fail then the dependency which will be coming from this line test prior 5 will be skipping or failing because of the dependency first test case has been failed here you can see test prior 1 failed skipped why because the test prior 5 have the dependency on the first test prior 1 you can see the first first is actually the name so it will look for the name for the dependency first and it is test prayer one so that's the reason you can clearly see the console output it is failing because of test prayer one has failed so you can see in which line it has failed so this way you can make the dependency just internally between the test cases rather than creating the fixtures in the confidence.py so this is all about the dependency testing there is another plugin also available pytest iphone dependency even those also will be useful for creating the dependency test cases for example here you can see pytest dependency so this is also useful to generate the managed dependency between the test cases So this is all about the existing plugin for the dependency test cases inside the PyTest framework. So thanks all, thanks for watching and have a great day.